Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I just wanted to talk about the iPad, the new iPad, iPad 3, also known as iPad 3rd generation overheating problem. Now, there's a lot of reports on this of this on the internet. There are some cases that are uh, that are definitely product design flaws and the people should contact Apple if they're encountering that type of overheating, but I've subjected my new iPad, my iPad 3, iPad 3rd generation, whatever you want to call it, to a rigorous amount of testing. Now what I did, I, I did my standard uh, web browsing, checking email, doing some text-based uh, text, uh, text -based only apps. I do a lot of stocks, so I ran through a gamut of tests there and used this device for about four hours straight so that I didn't take any breaks or anything and during those four hours I noticed the back got slightly warm it was not hot it was just slightly warm and also that was before I put this uh, SEMO cover on the back so with this cover you can't even feel the warmth at least I can on mine now what people don't realize is that when you're playing games if you're downloading games that have a lot of graphical content that's going to heat up what's referred to as the GPU. So the, in, in essence, in, in tablet uh, uh, term, in desktop terminology, that would be a video card. But when you're dealing with tablet devices, that's the uh, that's the video processor that's processing all that video. So when you're using when you're using your iPad as a gaming device, it's constantly stressing that GPU. Uh, the stress on the GPU is in turn heating up the back of the unit. So people that are saying their iPad 3 or iPad 3rd generation, whatever you want to call it, is overheating, they're probably playing a lot of games on it. Now if you're like me, you're just using it for business purposes, reading websites, researching stocks, things that aren't constantly taxing the, uh, uh, the GPU, then you're probably not even going to notice any noticeable amount of warmth. I mean, if, if you're using it for several hours straight, yeah, it might make it a little bit warm, but that may just be warm because you're keeping it on your lap. And if it's on your lap, it could be your body heat that's actually heating up the, uh, the back of the device. But for everyone out there that's, that's afraid to jump in and, and uh, purchase an iPad third generation because of all the reports about overheating, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's a lot of fluff. Now, sure, there may, be, there may be a few legitimate cases where the iPad is malfunctioning and it's overheating. I'll, I'll agree with that. And there's probably some people that are taking their iPad to the beach and it's overheating. Well, your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod, whatever it may be, if it's in direct sunlight, it's more than likely going to overheat. And if you're at the beach, I, I don't think I would be on an iPad anyway. So take it for what it is, what you hear on the news about the iPad overheating. For a casual user that's not using this to game, to play video games for, for hours upon end, or someone that's taking it to the beach with them, it's going to be a great device. Those are just my opinions. There really isn't a fix for it. It's just use it, use it how it's meant to be used. And if yours is not uh, functioning properly in, in normal... Uh, operating temperature and, and and normal operation that you're performing on the device then you probably want to contact Apple because you may have a malfunctioning unit but thanks for tuning in and feel free to check out all my other videos on YouTube have a good one